Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this animation uh, with a parallax effect. Uh, what is a parallax effect, guys? Um, in digital terminology, a 3D effect observed when images and other elements in the foreground of the screen move at a different rate than those in the background. Um, in short, every every aspect is moving at its own speed um, and so we're gonna get that done today so let's go ahead and get started um, I've got several elements in this image but we're gonna we're gonna recreate this scene from scratch so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and start up a new 2d animation don't save um, we've got a, a, a brand new 2D animation, and we're going to go ahead and start uh, bringing in some items. Now, let me tell you what I did to uh, prepare for those items. Um, I downloaded an image off the internet, and that was this image, and I, and I made it longer this way, um, and I separated everything into layers. So, in the sky layer is just the sky. Um, and then I added the buildings, that's the farthest in the background. And then these bushes. And then of course, uh, the middle ground here with the trees and the ground and some more bushes. And then the foreground uh, is the street uh, and the, um, the lights. All right, there was, there was a bench and I wound up not using it. And so all I did was go to each layer and file export as, and then, and then I did PNGs, transparent PNGs, and I, I'm gonna cancel this one, but I, I exported every element separately so that we can have use of it in Blender. Now let's go and jump back right into Blender and import these images. Um, we're going to do, we're going to go back to object mode here and go to the add menu and image, images as planes. And I have a folder on the desktop and we need to, uh, I need to tell you something. We need to import these in the order from farthest in the background to the foreground. So the farthest in the background is the sky. Let's go ahead and import this. <clears throat> and here it is. Here's my sky. And I don't know why they come in a little bit um, small. Even though in Illustrator, I they are twice as big as the, the frame. And the frame is 1920 by 1080. So I'm not exactly sure why they come in this small. Um, so let's keep adding images, images as planes. The next would be the building desktop. The buildings, here they are. Hey, I might speed up the video so that I can have everything I imported. Add, and then I'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, so everything has been imported. Um, I told you the only one that came in the right size is these bushes. So it doesn't matter. We're going, we're going to um, go ahead and get everything to size and placement. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get, start, uh, get started with the sky. I'm gonna hit the, uh, the scale. Actually, I'm gonna hit the move and then hit S to scale. And I'm just gonna scale it um, to about the right size. And the reason I hit the move is it's there when you finish uh, scaling this. And I'm gonna put it centered and I'm gonna gui be guided by these bushes. So the next one is the bushes, the, the, I mean, I'm sorry, the buildings. Hit S to scale. And again, I'm guided by these bushes and then I'm just gonna move them up about to there and the next one is the actual bushes 
and I'm just gonna move those down a little bit uh, to my horizon line and then the next one is the trees boom trees hit s and I'm gonna oops hit s right about there and then I'm gonna bring them up so that I can cover those bushes and then bring them over just a bit to about right there. And don't worry about too much about the horizontal placement. That's what we're going to animate. I'm just kind of looking at the ver uh, vertical uh, placement. The next thing that I'm going to bring in is the road. Uh, I'm sorry, not bring in uh, size, hit S. And I'm just gonna size it to about there and then bring it down to about right there. And then lastly, I am going to size my rider. Hit S. Right about there. And so this guy is riding in the park and we're going to animate, uh, not him, we're going to animate all the background uh, in various speeds so that it looks like, you know, the, the, the buildings in the very, very back are, will be moving very slowly and then the bushes and then the trees and then the, the road. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. To animate, let's go ahead and animate the sky first. Here, I'm going to select the sky and I am going to turn on, first of all, I need to reveal my timeline. Uh, this is not really a timeline, this is the dope sheet, but I'm going to reveal my timeline. I'm going to turn it down to about maybe 100 frames. And then I'm going to hit the home key to zoom in. And I'm going to turn on automatic key. So as soon as I move this sky, uh, it'll create a keyframe. So I'm only moving it uh, sideways in the X axis and so the sky is a bit tricky because sometimes I what I'd like to do is I'd like to move it in the opposite direction that the rider is actually moving and so in fact we'll leave the sky till after the buildings just so you know let's select the buildings and I'm gonna just move them a, slightly to create a keyframe I could also hit the I key and create a keyframe for um, location or rotation or just location. And then I'm going to go all the way to the end of the animation and just slightly move him back. Since he's traveling this way to the right, obviously those buildings are going to be moving to the left. So I'm gonna move him back in just a little bit, just a tiny little bit. And here we go. That's all they're going to move. All right, cool. And then now for the sky, the sky, I'm going to actually move them forward. The sky, I'm going to, it, I already have a keyframe at one. And so I'm going to go all the way to 100 to the end. Of, and then I'm going to move the sky forward just a little bit also from here to here. So we get this effect that the sky is, is independent of the buildings. Cool. Um, we're getting there, guys. Uh, the next one is these bushes. I'm gonna select these bushes and create a keyframe, hit I, and I'm just gonna create a keyframe for the location. Go all the way to the end of the animation and then just move them back. Again, uh, not as a little bit more than the buildings. Remember, as it gets to the foreground, you're going to add a little bit more and more and more animation. So the bushes should be moving a little bit faster than the buildings, which that's the case. You can tell right there that this bush is moving a little bit faster than these buildings. The next one will be the trees. This is the middle ground, select the trees. And I'll go ahead and create a keyframe. In fact, I'm just going to move them over a little bit, maybe to there. 
go to the if you hit this button it'll take you all the way to the end point boom and then the trees I, I will move them a little bit farther than than the bushes because of course they're closer to the foreground so let's see if that kind of I can kind of tell this one hits those bushes there there we go and then finally the foreground the foreground if I select it I am going to start off maybe here and at the end I am going to move this quite a bit and see how fast we get this guy to go so hit play he's moving you can see the background boom 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 that's it uh, and so one thing I like to adjust is if you can see this you can see that the light post kind of slow down and that's because of the ease in and ease out effect and and we don't want that we actually don't want that here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up I'm gonna pause it here for a minute I'm gonna open up an extra window I'm gonna put my cursor right here in the corner and just click and drag up because I want to reveal a uh, graph editor I'm gonna zoom out a bit and I'm gonna select those trees trees actually you know what we'll start with the road um, and we've animated we only animated the X location X I'm gonna hide everything else uh, this is the X location and this is the curve that goes with that movement and you can see that it picks up speed uh, I mean slowly picks up speed and then slows down at the end this is ease in and ease out but I just don't want that I'm gonna right click on this and put linear that way it's a constant speed from here to here I'm gonna do the same for the trees X location I'm gonna hit the uh, home that kind of zooms in on it and then I am going to right click and put linear and and then we won't have that it'll just be a constant speed boom there it is you can see that they don't slow down we can actually loop this but you just have to be a little bit more careful when you start and stop I'm gonna put my cursor on the corner again and get rid of this uh, graph editor and, and there it is guys uh, there is the parallax if you can see the buildings in the background moving these bushes the trees the street and you can add a little bit more by moving this guy forward uh, and and that's basically it um, I hope that this was helpful to you guys and if you like the video go ahead and hit the like uh, button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you guys